everyone, let's take a look at our next multiple choice question. So here we are given a graph of a piecewise function and asked to find a bunch of traits. And I'll go over all four of these traits, but I would say just looking at it, I, I think one of the easier traits to find on a graph is the y-intercept. So let me go take a look at that. I can spot it here. It's the ordered pair 0, 0. So let me go through a through d and see which options I can rule out. That's got the correct y-intercept. This one doesn't, so I'm going to rule out b. Option C is saying that I'm going to rule out C, and, and it looks like option D has that in there. So that's great. And then for me, another trait that I find easier to than, uh, or one of the easier traits to find on a graph, I like the end behavior, especially in this case, because I can see I have my left end up and my right end up. So I know that for my end behavior, I'm going to have this as a combo. So let me go to A and D and see what, what I can rule out. And if we look at the end behavior on part A, you see it says y equals x for a slant asymptote. That's not correct. And I can see the correct end behavior down here on D. So that's where I can circle that. So just based on those two traits, I can narrow down my choice to the correct answer. But let's go through the other traits just so you can see them. So for range, I need to look along the y-axis, right, and see which y values were hit. Well, I can see my lowest y value here is at the y-intercept, so it starts at zero, and then it goes up forever on both the left end and the right end. So in this case, my range would start at zero and head to positive infinity. Great. Now, let me color, oops, what is, I was gonna say color code. Let me switch colors here. For the domain, I need to look along the x-axis, okay? Now I have my left end going up here, so I'm gonna start at negative infinity. I head all the way along this graph, right? And I get to here, and I, then I, I get that I have a little piece and I jump, but I pick up every x value along that little horizontal y equals three piece. And then yes, I jump again, but I still pick everything back up. And you can see at these breaking points, they only have the one ordered pair, right? So I'm, I'm consistent the whole way through. So my domain in this case, I'm not missing any x values. It would be all real numbers. And that's in line with what we see for option D. All right. Thank you.